Hi there, it's Nicole McGuirk from Mama Elephant, and today I have a new card share for you using the brand new Love Quotes stamp set and also their brand new landscape trio of border dies. And the stamp set is adorable. It has these two cute little birds, and then it has a couple of speech bubbles, both an outline and a filler, a solid one, and then several different greetings that coordinate with the stamp set. To do something a little different for my card this time, because a lot of times I use Copics to color in my images, um, and lately I have really been enjoying my colored pencils again. I grab those out of out of my uh, drawer and I've just really been enjoying the look. It's m maybe a little bit more muted I would say, but I colored my images in with with the Prismacolor colored pencils and then blended them with the Gamsol like you saw me doing there and a stub pencil. So I, I colored the belly of the birds with a little light yellow and then blended in the blues and made the cheeks pink and just kind of shaded until I got the the look that I wanted for my birds. So they're really cute. And then I used a Sakura black gel pen to add some detail to the eyes of my birds. And I did this several times. I wanted to create several birds for this card. So I did, I think I five of them for this particular card. So I just have to make sure I get the right die for the right bird. And then I will run all of these through my Big Shot I love with these open style dies how easy it is to stamp and color your image first or stamp it first and then line up the die perfectly and run it through the machine. I find that so much easier than die cutting it and then stamping and coloring. So I'm going to set all of these aside and then I'm going to grab some of my Oh, I got one more, I forgot. I have them on all kinds of paper. You can see that I was trying out lots of different combinations before I actually settled on the teal blue and with the pencils, because some of the other ones on that paper were Copic colored. And next, I want to die cut the bubble, which also has a coordinating die. The Love Quotes die set has the thought bubble and then both birds. We'll pop that out real quick and I'll add my greeting a little bit later. I just stamped the outline in basic black and then die cut that out and then I can stamp my greeting in whatever color I want as I get a little bit closer to finishing up my card. Next I'm going to take my landscape trio of dies and you can see there's this wonderful cloud die and then two kind of wavy borders which would be perfect for landscapes and things like that, but I want, I'm going to actually use mine all for the clouds. I liked the combination of both the more scallop cloud-like border with that wavy border. I wanted the entire front of my card to look like the birds were up in the clouds. So I'm going to actually use one of the other wavy borders to die cut the rest of that particular cloud border and you can see there are just tons of different ways to use this die set. I would say this is probably going to be one of those die sets that I'm going to reach for again and again and again. I'm partial to clouds anyway and I really love this cloud and I've been dying for a great wavy type landscape die set that would work wonderfully you know, with for cards, for even for scrapbook, book, scrapbook page layouts, all kinds of things. So this is just going to be a very often used die set, I would say. So I'm just running a strip of paper through several times. This is act the other half of the paper I'm using for my card base. I'm going to be creating a standard size card base with half a sheet, which is a half a sheet of eight and a half by eleven paper and then I use the other half of the paper to die cut all of my clouds so I'm adding quite a bit of borders all over the front of my card but I really like how it turns out so I'm going to grab another border there run that through and then I have all of the pieces for my card ready to put it together 
So I like kind of playing with them and seeing seeing if that's if I have it the way I want it to look. Just trim that down. I'm going to move that out of the way. And you can see I've kind of laid everything out there. I am going to ink up one of the greetings using the Lollipop Mama Elephant ink pad and stamp that right in the thought bubble. Now there is a cute little heart in this stamp set that I'm going to actually use above and below the greeting in the thought bubble. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of my clouds to my card base so that I can adhere those birds and the thought bubble and the card will be pretty much finished at that point. So I'm going to speed through this really quick. So I'm just going to continue to layer on all these borders. One of the best things about these, I think, is the stitching detail along the edges, which really gives them a, an awesome finished look that just looks incredible in real life. I'm going to lay out some of my birds. I thought it was really fun using more than just the two birds on the card. And my daughter even came into my office and said, Ooh, I love these. So she really loves all of the new releases from Mama Elephant this month. The pandas and the little birds, all very fun. I'm using a zig glue pen to just add a little bit of glue to all of these. They're pretty small and that makes it, makes it easy to add a little liquid adhesive and then pop them right onto my card. Now, one of the last things I did was take the Wink of Stella glitter brush tip marker and run it over the bellies of the birds just for a little bit of sparkle. And then I did take that black Sakura gel marker and add a little detail to a couple of the birds' eyes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check out the rest of the Mama Elephant projects on the Mama Elephant blog. Thanks for watching.